911. What is the address of the emergency? This is my girlfriend. She was at first on the bed, and then like, she acted like she passed out to go to sleep. And then I couldn't get her out. So then it, I laid her on the ground to elevate her, and I saw she was like, her mouth is full of me. And I'm so scared. Is she breathing? crying on that call was Cassidy, who awoke to find her girlfriend, Lexi, dead. And to make matters worse, Cassidy was accused of murdering her. It's been almost two years since that tragedy occurred, and since then, Cassidy says she was jumped, her life was threatened, and she was forced into hiding. Lexi's mother, Crystal, says the pain of losing her daughter has been unbearable. Crystal also says that Lexi told her Cassidy had pre previously choked her, and tried to kill her. She also heard rumors that Cassidy deliberately caused Lexi's death. Watch this. I'm not a murderer. I'm not a killer. And if I could go back in time and change it, I would. What happened that night was horrible, but it was not my fault. The relationship with Lexi was great. We were together for four years, and she definitely has the key to my heart. The night that she died, we were given these pills that were laced with fentanyl. Near the end of the night, she ended up dozing off, and I assumed that she fell asleep. And I was very confused. I wasn't in my right mind myself. I was probably on the verge of overdosing and possibly dying myself that night. I believe Lexi was snoring, but I didn't find out till the end that she was gasping for air. So I tried to pick her up and, you know, try to get her on the ground myself, but she was too heavy. I went down the hall and I saw this guy and I asked him for help. He helped me lift her off the bed and put her on the ground and we laid her on her side. And I personally asked him myself if I should call 911 and he told me that she should be fine. And he personally said no to not call 911. Then from there on, I tried to sit there and keep an eye on her. I ended up dozing off and I fell asleep. And two hours later, I woke up. There was foam coming out of her mouth. Uh, her body was already cold. It was too late. She was, she was dead. When they said that she was dead, I was, I felt completely numb, my heart broke into a million pieces. She was by my side every single day for four years. Like it, it's, it's hard not having somebody there with you and that you slept with every night and that you were going to marry. So that was, it's still hard to this day and I still feel like my heart is breaking into a million pieces. Right after Lexi's death, Lexi's mom, Crystal, assumed I had something to do with it and assumed I, ki I killed her and that I was the murderer. Um, it blew up in my city. A lot of people were out to get me, threatening me. I had to get away and get out of town to protect myself. And after the funeral, someone posted online that I got pregnant by a guy, which is a lie. The rumors got extraordinary. They were from me murdering her to drugging her. There's even a rumor that I was even having sex with a guy in the room while she was dying and I would never do that. I am not a monster and I love that girl. When Lexi and I were at our lowest point, Crystal was not there for her. She would always kick her out. Her mom treated her like crap. I'm a victim too. I took a test and it is going to prove that I did not kill Lexi. 
and that I loved her very much. And when I passed, Crystal did promise me that she would, she will give me Lexi's ashes. So I really am hoping, and I know Lexi would want me to have them. Uh, Crystal, when you hear Cassidy say that, uh, how do you feel? As any parent, their heart's broken when their child passes away, but hearing that call just made my heart break more. <laughs> Was that the first time you heard it? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. That's what we're here for. I, I do I do know that Cassidy did not get her help when she, when she needed it. Uh, wait, she called 911, but you believe she should have called much sooner. Yes. Um, my daughter was cold. She didn't have any life in her whatsoever when they got to her. How did, how did you find out that your daughter had passed? Uh, I got a message on Facebook. <laughs> um, the cops showed up at my house. Lexi, they showed up at my house around maybe, I think it was 11.30 or 12 in the afternoon, so we already had wind that maybe she, she wasn't alive. I think probably the, probably one of the worst things that could happen in our lives is a parent losing a child. Definitely. And when that does happen, we do, those parents do tend, to, they want to point a finger, they want to say, you did it. Even if, you know, if it was a car accident, uh, cancer, whatever, we always want to, you know, they want to point and say, and I get it, I understand that anger. But you do believe, you believe Cassie had some role to play? Yes. Okay. What post did you see shortly after the funeral? There was a post of her and another gentleman that she had been cheating at my daughter with, hugging, saying Cassidy was pregnant. You don't believe, it, it's, I'm supposed to ask you, was Lexi being held hostage? You think Lexi was being held against her will? Um, no, Steve, um, five, five months before Lexi had passed away, she got into pills really bad. I've never seen her that bad. She was lured into a gentleman's house and a coach was pushed in front of the door. It was completely dark in there and five men attacked her. They held her hostage, took her phone, videotaped everything, made her humiliate herself, made her take her clothes off as they debated on whether they were all gonna rape her, and blue door. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not a murderer, I am not a monster, and I love Lexi. You loved Lexi, but yet she's not here. She's dead. You didn't did. help her. You didn't help her. I did everything in my power. Do you everything understand? In your power, you knew something was wrong with her. Do you understand you that I've never seen an someone. overdose happen before? I was there. You weren't. You didn't see what I had I, to see. That is my no. daughter who's dead. And I you love her. her. She was. She was not even breathing. She was. She cold. was. If she wasn't she was. breathing right then and there, I would have called right away. The thing that disturbs me, that bothers me is when I listen to your tape and you said that you went and got somebody to get like, what, confirmation? Should I call 911? Well, the point that you're going to that point should've just told you to call 911. I didn't know, I wasn't in my right mind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, okay. I, okay, I you wasn't in my right mind. You weren't in your right mind, but you knew something was going wrong. I, I your gut was telling you something was wrong. But the thing is, I've never seen something like this ever happen before. Did you need to? I've ne what do you mean? Like, okay. if I would have known well, what an overdose was or like what to do. But you knew you were taking drugs. Correct. Right? Well, I mean. What but I didn't force anything in her mouth. I'm not saying you did. I, 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 I don't think you did. Like, I, I'm just hearing the story. I don't think you intentionally killed her. But when I hear a story of like, well, I didn't know what was going on, but I knew we were doing drugs. Well, then I gotta say, no, that's just bad, bad decision making on your part. Were you and uh, Lexi violent to each other at the end of your relationship? So, it, it, was, it was both, both of us when we were on pills, 
you know, it, 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 it was both of us, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, we, we should have seeken help a lot sooner because this would have never happened. Lexi's sister made a tape, but we're gonna watch that now. I miss her so much. Like, we had the strongest connection that I've ever felt with anyone. And I miss that. I don't have that anymore. So it, it's definitely taken a toll on my life. Lexi was definitely my protector growing up. She's always been super strong and stubborn. She had dreams, for sure. She played softball and she was very caring. If you needed help, she'd come up and she'd help you if you needed it. Lexi was so wonderful and I definitely wish I could at least hug her one more time and talk with her. I know Cassidy killed her because Lexi was leaving her. She was supposed to leave to go and live a sober life and get her life back on track. Cassidy didn't want her to go and didn't want her to get sober. I think she wanted her to stay there with her and be in the same situation she was. Lexi once told me that after a fight, she looked at me and she goes, I'm not kidding, one day Cassidy's gonna kill me. If I'm dead, that's the reason. Cassidy was usually the aggressor. She usually started stuff first out of jealousy or out of just stupid stuff. It makes me feel really sad that I didn't take it into consideration that she wasn't actually joking and that she might have actually did it. That's your daughter, uh, Sadie. Let's bring her up. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Cassie. We gave you a lie detector test and we broke your test down into three different parts. One uh, was moving the body. Did you move Lexi from the bed to the floor for the purpose of having sexual intercourse with any man? You answered no. Did you move Lexi from the bed to the floor for any other reason than in case she threw up? You answered no. The results for that part of the lie detector's test, the results came back the same and it came back that Cassidy told the truth. We then went out uh, as far as the drugging goes on. On the day of her death, did you contaminate any of Lexi's food? She answered no. On the day of her death, did you contaminate any of Lexi's beverages? She answered no. The results of those two questions came back that Cassidy told the truth. Oh, God. Cause of death. On the day in question, did you directly cause Lexi's loss of life? She answered no. And the results are Cassidy told the truth. <laughs> Give her ashes. I gave um, a lot of her friends and everything, and she's been begging for her ashes. And I, <laughs> I couldn't give them to her until I knew the truth. Now I feel like Lexi's saying, "Mom, give her my ashes." <laughs> Hi, Steve. This is Crystal. Um, since the show, Cassidy and I and Sadie have been very close. Um, invited Cassidy to my birthday party. We've been able to move on. We've all put our um, anger aside, which is nice. Um, we'll never bring Lexi back, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping us get the answers our family and friends all needed. You really saved us a life of pain. Thank you so much, Steve. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I could do that too.